Hello there, welcome back to some more Borderlands 2. In the last episode, what we did was a bunch of side quests. Now we're going to go to Opportunity, finally. We've got our nice pistol, we've got our sweet shotgun, we've got our slag gun, and we've got our, like, assault rifle. Let's go to Hyperion Bridge. Which is where we were going to go last time. And I saw a quest and was like, hello. But now I'm going to actually go forward. I might change my guns, I mean my car's colour soon, but not right now. Not yet. Hello there. Opportunity. Welcome to Opportunity. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in Opportunity, I can get you through that door. Okay. Right, now let's see what guns we've got. Good. I need you to snag an orbital drop beacon and some surveyor lures. I'll explain why once you've got them. Oh, and while you're at it, take out some engineers. We need to show the universe this town is as good for your health as a bullet to the face. Okay, and what we got? Statuesque. No revolution is complete until you've destroyed a few statues of a fascist dictator. Every good war is one in the mind. So long as Jack's got those propagandastic statues of himself around opportunity, we can't truly win this war. Go, minion! Blast those statues to bits! Okay, well. Let's uh, have a look at what we've got. Hello. Hi there. This is a message from Handsome Jack to the construction workers of Opportunity. You fine gentlemen are building the future. Once the city is done and its carefully selected citizens are brought in, you'll be able to see the true beauty that Opportunity represents. From a distance, that is. I mean, you guys aren't coming anywhere near the city once it's done. <laughs> but you can check it out from, like, binoculars or something. Right. Now, I feel like you should... Like, they should get privileges to come into the city since they built the fucking thing, but that's just me. Right, let's kill some engineers. First bullet of the uh, episode has to be a hit, otherwise you're going to have bad luck for the whole episode. That's the rule. I don't make them up. Just for the record, I don't actually believe that. Just, just letting you know. Someone could believe that, you know. I don't, but, you know, the superstition is all well and good, it's just not for me. I'm more believing, you know, patterns. Noticing patterns. Can I hurt you or do I have to get in there? Yes, yeah, I have to get in there. Okay. Right then. Pick up surveyor laws, kill engineers, obtain the Hyperion supply of hole. Get out of here. Right, so there's something up here. I know uh, this uh, this place is uh, a bit of a nightmare to navigate. That's what I remember. Luckily I can kind of half navigate it and then jump up the walls and things. Oh, wait. Give me some loot. Got the lures. With those lures, you can trick those surveyor bots to fly wherever you want. If you slap the lures on some jack propaganda, the surveyors should crash into them. Could be fun. Okay. Let's put some lures on Jack's signs then. Obviously, I'll do the story mission last. <clears throat> Goes without saying. <clears throat> You've always got to do side quests first. That's just the rules. <clears throat> right. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. And I'm one of them.
Oh no. Where's the... It's like slowly drifting into it. Just very casually, like dooby dooby doo. I think it overshot it and so the game had to sort of figure out what to do with it. So I can't very well just collide it into the ground. I've got to do something about it. There's an achievement for getting all of the map location data in all of the three cities in the game. This is the third one. Lynchwood, Sanctuary and this. So I'll try and do that. Right, supply back in. Gotta get inside the ship somehow. Do you think you can shield me? I disagree, sir. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure I've had a bull loader just like straight up kill me before. Like it's just driven into me and I've died. Maybe I misremembered it or maybe it pushed me off the map or something, but I'm pretty sure I remember it like killing me. There you go. Goodbye. Right, it's in here. I can see it. I seize it. Yeah. It's also an overseer. Boop. Take that orbital supply beacon to the big crane past the waterfront quarter. Once you call in a drop, the moonshot will destroy the crane. Should look great on film. Okay, that that sounds healthy. If you heard that, he's gonna kill people who took more than 15 minutes off of work in the past three weeks, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Although there, there might be, like, no workplace laws in this place. Which is reasonable. Not that it's reasonable that, that the laws exist. It's reasonable that there wouldn't be any laws here. I almost certainly can't slag him. That's just shotgun time. Get out of here. Right. Kill you. You bitch. You think you're so clever. So I think. Bonk. Hey. He hit me. What a rude guy. I think I exploded him when I hit him, so it, it didn't really go to plan. Oh, I'll need to get my thing back and I can get all my health back anyway. My uh, special attack. Actually, I just got it back straight away. You will all. How did I miss? Mad because bad. Yeah, that's what hit me, I think. I think I got the, uh, the hit from exploding him. I got my HP back, but then the explosion hit after that, and I just took damage again. That was silly. I tried to land it down there. Grab the pocket watch device he dropped. It echoes his biosignature to every machine in the immediate area, so his doubles can do all of his hand kissing and baby shaking for him. 
Let the loaders do the lifting. Loaders, let the engineers take bandit fire. This is called teamwork. That pocket watch also records audio. Jack loved to listen to the praise of his underlings. We need to create a voice modulator so you can speak in Jack's voice. Get to an info kiosk. Big, no, not how to speak. In angry Jack voice. Kill? There's a mission there. What? Kill what? Something to do with uh, being in here. Destroy security cameras. Okay. I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. I just wanted to see what it was. Pretty accurate, but not at this kind of range. Right, let's leave. Don't want to get messed about by fucking with these guys. They're not worth the time. I mean, the chance of you hitting yourself three times in a row is already, like, pretty low. Like, 0.01%. Hitting yourself twice in a row is, like, 1%. But I've already hit myself three times in a row. It's just very unlikely to happen. In a situation where you would die because of it. These guys are all pretty, pretty tough. Yes. Still feel like that just means my guns are underpowered, but I do remember that this happens in this game. It has the MMO problem where every basic enemy starts having millions of health, and so, well, not millions, but thousands of health right now. So that means we just can't do anything about them. You just have to keep shooting and shooting and shooting. And uh, if you don't have guns that do, you know, 5,000 damage a shot, then you're pretty screwed. Alright, let's talk weapons, everybody. Well, weapon sales have skyrocketed since the opening of the vault. No, 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 I'm talking style. You look at our guns, what do they offer? Increased accuracy, stabilizers. Class, sweetheart. They offer class. You buy from those war hippies in Malawan, the guns named like the fervent gospel or or the guileless provocateur, some pretentious crap. You get a bandit gun, they can't even spell pistol, right? When you look at the names of those guns, you feel like a dumbass. When you look at that, you mean I want you to feel classy. Um, okay, sir. How do you propose we accomplish synergy, dynamicism, longitudinal, words with half, words with meaning, words that evidently nobody in this room understands given the blank looks you troglodytes are giving me right now. Look, when you pick up a Hyperion shotgun called the projectile diversification, you'll know it was made by smart sons of bitches. Four smart sons of bitches. Jesus, is, is anyone writing this down? I'm giving you gold here, people. Buy a gun already. It's liquid gold. He's right. I like that kind of mentality, like calling something overly, like um, specific thing, like a shotgun being a a projectile diversifier. Like it's just it it is what it is. It's just such a pretentious way of saying it. Like that's definitely more pretentious than than saying the fervid gospel. Um, uh, they're both pretentious. Let's be fair. I'm the sort of dumbass. Well, not well. And maybe this is dumb. Maybe this is intelligent. I'd just call my shotgun the shotgun, the shotgun, and the model of the shotgun. So it'd be like the Marshall 45 or something. Like if it was the 45th shotgun or the Marshall 7 or something. Just you know, this is the gun. 
and this is the the model of the gun, and that's it. I know cool guys don't look at explosions, but they want it recorded, so I kind of need to actually record it. For the law, you know? I don't think it makes any difference at all, but for the law. Co opportunity center. Not sure that is true. In fact, science has uh, proven that, in fact, the opposite is true. If you make people work less hours, their, producti their productivity goes up through the roof. People can do as much in a four-day work week than they do in a five-day work week with that extra day off. They feel much happier as well. The problem is people assume, oh, well, if they could do five days' worth of work in four days, then surely they could do seven days' worth of work in five days, but it's not, like, no, the whole point is that you aren't overworking your people, and so they respect you and feel happier. You don't just push them even more and hope for the best. Bye bye. Okay. Now then. Now to broadcast the fruits of your hard work. Upload the footage. Your work's done. Doubt anyone will be in a hurry to move here now. Come on back. Your eyes upon the paradise that awaits you in opportunity. A world filled with excitement and potential. Just think, right now, this could be you. Or this. Or this. Emigrate to opportunity today. Yes, well, clearly that's not my footage, but that, that's fine. I understand. Statue-esque. Let me shoot some statues. Found the overseer before, it's on the other side, yes. No, there's only one bit of the map left over, which should be that bit. There might be secret zones though, so I might need to find the secret zones. Hey kids, did you know your chances of being disemboweled increased by 80,000% upon leaving opportunity? It's a scientific fact. Um, I would say that's possibly true, but... Unlikely. Opportunity outreach program. Whoop. Jobs. Surely in a. Oh, I mean, I guess this is still like a capitalist world. But I was gonna say, you surely in a like a ideal, perfect world, you wouldn't need jobs. It's like a utopia, but I guess they're not trying to make utopia. They're trying to make a safe haven in Jack's image. Which is not the same thing. Ooh. 
That's it. I'm super dead. I was gonna say there's no way I don't die, but I'm not dead yet. Shooting behind here. Is the coward's way out? Yes. Do I care? No. I think this constructor only appeared because I'm in this quest. It's a baptism of blood! Get out of here, surveyor. Alright. Chest for me! Here's loot. Mm. Alright, fine. Let me go get this then. I don't know that that's going to work like that, but I'll give it a go. Give it the good old college try. Hello there, sir. Boop, 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 boop. He's waking up. Great. Trust the Vault Hunter, robot. All right. The constructor's working again. Make sure to protect it while it's wrecking the statues. Am I going to follow it, or is it going to go on its own? It looks like I'm not escorting it, it's escorting me. Against engineers, it should be fine. I can just use grenades. Against uh, robots, it might be a bit harder. Consider it has half the health that it actually has. I wonder if it heals up again. Seems like not. gonna be a no. Yeah, there's no way I'm keeping it over 50% health. I might not even be able to keep it alive. Remember, workers, there's no help me, I'm bleeding internally and need to see a doctor in team. This is our planet now! Hey, you know what book I'm reading at? It's called 101 Ways to Forcibly Make Vandals Keep Your Own Entrails. I'll get you far on some side. Right now, I'm definitely not. I'll try, but... You need like four people with uh, multiple attacks. Operation 
to keep you uh to keep you going in that one. I can actually see why you'd want to tear that particular statue down. Clearly you're illiterate and the image of me enjoying a good book just makes your head hurt so awful. Unfortunately, it's not necessarily true. I just just don't like you, man. I just think you're a shit fet a shit box. Doing it. What's wrong with that statue? I'm holding the ball key and a baby. You know what it is, all right? Those little soft pink things your head eats after you're done rolling around in bell pieces. Ring a bell. How did the other one take so much damage so early? I lost like so much health right at the beginning, but I actually have been doing okay keeping it alive after that. I'll get it back again in time, don't worry about that. The last one's like right the hell over here, right? Yeah. Oh! For me, you shouldn't have. Okay. What is this even accomplishing? I, you just, are you trying to piss me off? Was that your goal? Well, mission accomplished, Jagoff. You know when I'm curb stomping your dumb little ass to death? You can take solace in the fact that one time, for like eight seconds, you mildly irritated me. Good for you. Your parents must be so proud. Well, I uh, did annoy you though, didn't I? That's the thing. Whether it was for eight seconds or for eight years, I lived in your head, went free. That's all I can ask for. Have a bye. get toppled. The laser's through now. It's done. Nice. Sure, that it is a dance button. Three, two, one, dance time! Dancing dance protocols. Error. Error. Oh, the uh, just exploded, didn't it? I guess that's kind of like dancing. Workers, you, you are good? such a jackass. 
Good. Good job, me. Solid work, me. Thank you, me. Oh, I love a good dance. So I guess it did have dance subroutines, but it also made it explode. Weird programming decision, but you know what? Fair enough. Don't think I forgot the Cividium here. I did not. Something spawned. Ah, it's a loot loader. They only exist to give you loot. Oh. Strip the flesh, stop the wound. Is there another one? There is. That's you who dropped an Ovidium. A few treats, and there's you. You dropped yet more of this shit. Okay, right. Definitely need that inventory upgrade. Dune. Anyway, what's this quest and it's about? History is a funny thing. Okay, let's let's learn. In the beginning, Pandora was chaos. And then there was Jack. When Jack came to Pandora, he found a world of danger and hardship. Jack armed himself to the teeth using the quality armaments of Hyperion, the company he called home. It looks like this is without a mask, so this is what Jack thinks he looks like. I don't know what Jack actually looks like, but he wears a mask all the time. Jack is saying he killed everyone and that's all of the prime members of Borderlands 1 being like, oh no, oh, I was so spooky, I couldn't do it. And then he killed the big eyeball now demon. Five years ago, Jack defeated the monster inside the vault, triumphed over the evil treasure seekers and brought peace to Pandora. With that done, the handsome one staked a claim on the very planet he had seen. He unlocked Iridium. Iridium. This mysterious alien element flourished across Pandora, and Jack became an overnight trillionaire. Okay, and now we've got robots. Today, Jack, now the owner of the Hyperion Corporation, has dedicated his life to bringing bandit scum to justice. There is only one word to describe what Jack has become to Pandora. A hero. So much horse shit. Having suffered through the collection of lies that was the Hyperion Hall of History, you earned a hefty cash reward. Thank you for visiting the Hall of History. Take this tax refund as a reward for your continued loyalty. Thank you. And I guess if he's a trillionaire, then any money would be... 
inconsequential to him. It, it charge anything. Oh, you bitch. You shipped his corpse here. Why have you left the bloodstains here, for fuck's sake? Surely you'd, like, taxidermy it or something. Here we go, we've got Urban Explorer. For finding all of the things. Never stop the killing! Never! There's something about the foreman that I had to do, but I don't remember what it was. Does it do it without getting hit by those? Okay, hang on. Alright, so what was it? I, I don't think I did it, but... Kill Foreman Jasper without letting him construct any turrets. Right, okay. I didn't see that's what I had to do. I could have just thrown grenades at him and exploded him. But I didn't know. Oh well, he'll come back and you can farm it to get let him do it again and again, so... That's no big problem. Right then. Legendary. Let's open the shed. Hello there. Sounds like that key was just the right size. See if there's anything useful in there. If I know my explosives, and I'd like to think I do, you could use those charges to flood the construction site. If you'd blow up the nearby retaining wall and flood those pits, I'd be awful grateful. Old balloon tits is still holding a grudge against me, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, I get it. Once you've eaten prime rib for free, it's hard to go back to sucking down hamburgers for cash. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hmm. You're calling her... I'm talking about dicks. You're calling her a prostitute as well. For the same... Or a sex worker, if we're being correct. Now, how often for your explosives you can use to destroy the flood wall? Let's do it. No! Don't do it! Such beautiful misery! This is a different time where people were still shamed for being sex workers, where it's now, like, well, I would hope that nowadays people are like, who fucking cares? It makes no difference. I believe about that the same I believe about everything. If you're not hurting anyone, why do I care what you do with your, with your uh, job or profession? And if you are, then stop doing that. Hurting people, I mean. Right. Let's try and get over to this section. I forget 
is the way to go. It might be through here. Yes. Ah. Get away from the explosive, sugar. They're gonna make a big boom. You broke up with him, I see. Okay, um, right. Let's go back to this place and plan in all the quests then. And say, yes, I have done the good. Now give me all my money, thank you. Two hundred and fifty seven pistols if I'd be ever interested in that. The only pistols worth having are revolvers. The automatic pistols don't have enough damage to offset the fact... Like, they have good... To be fair, they have good rate of fire. But that's no good to me. Lots of iridium. There's some more that dropped down here somewhere. Did it despawn? That'd be unfortunate. No, it's down here. There's a four pack too, even better. shock damage up. Not interested. Alright, let's go back to the place, sell our stuff, turn the quests in, call it there. But yeah, that's basically been okay so far. Got a bit the, the backlog still looking a bit thin, but besides that, it's, it's going okay. This place again, I'm still sort of reeling from the idea that in my brain, everything after this point is like the most impossible thing in the known universe, and it's clearly not. My only theory is that solo play is somehow like balanced differently now. Like it was harder in the beginning, but it's easier later on, which wouldn't make much sense, but it seems to be. That's how it feels. Please insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. Just checking these to make sure it's not something I want. Okay. Very good. <laughs> now then. You can always trust the gun at your side. So like chance is pretty good on that one. It's a higher damage as well. But are they all back in Sanctuary? Oh they are. Okay. Right then. Let's walk from here back to Sanctuary then. Sanctuary! I feel bloated. I've got some missions. You gotta check the washing machine, the iridium washing machines. You never know. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Could be something good in there. There isn't. Could have been. Hello. You've convinced the rest of the universe that Jack's big shiny city is actually a big shiny death trap. 
You've also touched Moxie's camera, which means you should probably wash your hands with acid. They're both worth exactly the same. Hey, Slab. Hello. How are you? Get out. I'm all right. With the statues of Handsome Jack destroyed, Opportunity now appears slightly less douchey to the outside observer. Slightly. I knocked a new head. Finally, let's go speak to Moxie and say, we did it. With the foreman dead and the construction yard flooded, Moxie's thirst for vengeance has been sated, for now. Nothing like a little vengeance to round out the day. The incendiary kiss of death. Doing well, mate. How are you? Just, just plodding on every day. You know how it is. Please insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. All right. See you guys next time when we use this info kiosk and try and become Jack. I suppose. See you then. Goodbye.